Welcome to Grey Overload, I'm Anthony, and with this new AMD driver, we have the option now to submit bug reports. AMD has launched this bug report tool, or bug group, yeah, their bug report tool, and this is in their latest 20.7.1 update. And well, now they have 20.7.2, as you can see, running, but that uh, bug report tool is in that driver. And there's a few ways you can launch it. You can either do, if you go to General's uh, Settings over or Settings over here, and then System, you can then click on Launch Bug Report Tool. You can also go to the Start menu and type in uh, AMD, and then their Bug Report Tool shows up there, as well as any page you're on in the AMD driver. If you're going through all these, you'll notice that the little bug is up in the corner. And you can click on this little bug, and then it launches the tool. Where's, and AMD goes through and, you know, sorry that they experienced problems. But this is a way that you can fill out, and hopefully AMD can fix the problem that you are having. Hopefully AMD is doing a good job of collecting the data that they need um, when you submit this. But you can say graphics, you can do affected game. I've been playing a little bit of Age of Empires 2, which is... What I'll put in here, nothing's bad about it. I'm just using it as an example, but you can then change your or choose your symptom, which is you know crashing, hangs, display corruption, game does not load, application error, poor performance, shuttering, uh, incorrect software functionality, install, uninstall error, no sound and choppy audio or other. So they give you quite a few different settings here. You can do a description, just you know, um, you know, just put something in you know I'm just filling this out not that I, oops not that I need to submit this I'm just doing it for everything that's required just for having fun I will cancel it at the I will not send it at the end but then you get to choose the driver um, AMD so if you don't enter in something this field is required so obviously you need more than just one two three so uh, that's actually nice that AMD does that and has that responsiveness so you don't get to the end and say send report and you get an error so that's interesting and that's really nice of AMD to do power supply settings as well you'll have to be able to choose you can uh, attach an image as well up to six files um, combined size is only six megs so not that big of images but the big thing I like a lot is the link so let's say you have a video or other content that you can attach and send that link you can enter in a URL so even if you create like a YouTube video or have like a file sharing service like OneDrive, Google Drive, Dropbox, or some uh, all the many other filing sharing services out there, you can actually put that URL in and share a copy of what's happening, a video or something else with them as well, which I think is a great option for AMD. I know I've done uh, submission of errors through like my OneDrive account to companies and it seems to work really well they get the file they understand what I'm doing and it seems like the problem gets solved quite quickly there's also a data collection so you can save a copy collected uh, on your desktop in a zip file which is great because uh, I always like going through the file see what they actually collecting and then you can also add in your email and then you can say send report and of course they have when you say send report that will you know by their end user license agreement otherwise you click don't send and uh, that's basically the end of this but if you're having an issue this is a great way to support um, support actually other users I think that may be running the same issue that you know want to support you know send in a bug or have an issue but they just don't know where to go and if we can you know get these bugs in AMD that are having problems and I think any company with this uh, I know I've done the feedback on the Windows feedback hub and getting feedback back to Microsoft to help fix the OS I don't know how much that has worked lately but um, that aside hopefully AMD takes this to heart it seems like AMD has been focusing on reliability uh, quite a bit here and if they continue this and with this bug report tool is showing that they really want to hit um, on all cylinders and make sure that we're getting the best experience when we're playing games and if that's what they're going to continue to do going forward I am really pleased with the steps that they're taking and hopefully that they make that next step and start making the software even more rock solid especially with people using this tool to get them better data on what's going on this could be a great tool not only for AMD but for users to get the best experience out of the cards and the drivers that they use so let me know what your thoughts are on this whole bug report tool thing. Is it something you're going to be using or you, um, 
or do you not care? Uh, you know, something I like to see in the comments, you know, the interaction is always fun for me. So let me know what your thoughts are on this. And I do want to say thank you guys for watching. Thank you for taking the time to help support Gray Overload on helping this channel grow. I really appreciate it. You guys are great at, the, uh, at helping this channel out. It's, I've been really uh, blessed by you guys, and I thank you guys so very much. And until next time, God bless, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.